Zorro, Death, no, yeah, Death Lion Song. So, this is from his fight with King in one of the more recent episodes of One Piece. Of course, if you're watching this in the future, it won't be recent. <laughs> so, it's from an episode of One Piece. So, let's go. It's looking, he's kind of like on green fire and stuff like that. So, let's give this a go. So, his hand kind of comes across his face. So, we got a bit of a dilemma whether or not to draw the hand or the face first like and the sword i'm going to get the sword and the hand and then we can put the head in behind okay so top of his sword and the sword so we'll go yeah we'll go diagonal this way just for the side of the sword first right so it comes down like that right and then we have the sort of hilt of the sword here which kind of comes around, kind of curves up in the middle, out the other side and up. It'll go off the top of my page, but if you can fit like the top, it just like kind of curves around, right? Okay, that kind of a thing. And then the other side of the blade or the handle, so it kind of like sticks out like that first and then down like so okay so kind of wide on top and we'll just clean up some of this right so his hand is holding on to it right so his hand kind of comes out from here right and we have like a wrist bone which spikes up that way and then this will go all the way across here This is his arm. So the other side of the hand, so we've got like bottom of the hand here, right? And then like some wrist bones going that way. And then his wrist and forearm will travel like this way. It gets real wide because he's quite muscly, right? And then we have like his elbow just here I go off my page a little bit. Make some scratches and stuff on his skin. Okay, so then fingers all coming down here. So coming out, one. Kind of curves around. And then like fingernail. There and the rest go behind his thumb, so his thumb is just like here, right? So his thumb just folds itself down this way, And then the, the rest of the fingers just kind of go down behind the thumb, right? And you can just see like the tops of the fingernails and some knuckle lines. And then his thumbnail. Like so. And then some like details on this sword, right? So he's got these diamonds. And then some, there's one up top as well. like a diamond up here and then like some detail lines just on the edge and 
some lines in here. Okay, so it's like this rope that's kind of wrapped around the sword, the handle. Okay. So then, Right, we'll do his face in here and then kind of join it up to the shoulder. So his bandana comes across his head, like right, just curves across here. Curving around and then kind of bumps around this way. And then goes up and off the page. And we could have Some kind of like phone lines and stuff here. Just coming across. So his eyes are in underneath. So we just have this little sort of spike here for his tear duct. And then his eye will like come around underneath. And then his iris, half circle, just under there, and his pupil, like so. And then he's got like some lines underneath the eye, and here. Then we can see his sideburn going down this way. That green sort of hair of his. His other eye is closed, so it just goes up, down, back up like that. And we just thicken it up just to make it look like eyelashes a little bit. And then he has a scar, which is just drawn with a single line, just going there. And maybe like some eyelid lines just on top and underneath as well. And then his nose, so just like two lines that go down here. And then we go sort of diagonal that way, and some frowning sections. And then his sideburn on this side comes down. Like so. And if you want, so he, it's like he's been in a fight for ages. So he has all these sort of battle scars and cuts on his face and just all this stuff. Like lots of it, even on his hands and everything. So, so it's up to you how much of that you want to do. So then his ear comes down here and then he's got like his earring on, right? So we've got like, let's say one, two, and a third. They sort of dangle down circles and then we go down behind his arm. Like that. And then ear lines inside. Like so. So, shoulder muscles. So we'll go from the arm here. So we'll go boom, one. Everything's foreshortened now. So that means like it just looks kind of shorter, two here, and then his trapezius will go up this way. And there might be some sort of hatching lines on his trapezius muscle. So the rest of the sword, so we can just see like the hilt, right? So it's like an ellipse, a circle, it comes out here and goes back up under his hand, right? Sides of that come down. And then it goes underneath. We have some lines on the inside as well. So just following that inside shape, 
to make it look a bit three-dimensional you just add these lines in the corners and then the white of the sword so it just disappears underneath his thumb here and with a brass edge okay so we can see like the side of his like scabbard sort of thing coming down here okay and on the other side i think hard to see but we'll go because there's all this green flame but we'll go to there and then we have this brass section coming across that way so then it looks like his finger just comes across this and like around here and his thumb looks like it goes in behind here so the thumb goes behind there and that's like a knuckle right okay so then it looks like his thumb just goes in behind here and then down right and then we got some like thumb knuckles like that okay and then his hand just keeps going down this way goes off the page kind of like his wrist or something that way and then fingers on this side one two three and we should see a fourth maybe going that way and we got like knuckle lines just all here right so now there's some more anatomy so just his body the side of it just comes out from his armpit kind of here down right center line for his chest is kind of curves around here this will go around up towards the armpit again your your chest muscle joins your armpit in there and he's got like these oblique muscle sections just there just these letter y's is curved line see it kind of looks like a letter y just turn that way it's the easiest way to do those and then his nipple just curves around there top of his chest goes that way in the opposite direction and then the bottom of his chest here just goes towards this knuckle. Kind of curves around. And then he's got like some abs and stuff here. Okay, and again, he's got a scar that comes across his chest going this way. And this has like cross lines on it. Like so, and then maybe neck muscles in here. His mouth is totally covered. Uh, oh yeah, and shoulder on this side. So we just see trapezius and then shoulder sort of curves out here into there and then his tricep goes out off the page and maybe like a bicep line just in there and that goes down to his elbow obviously off that way so he's doing that line song right so these sort of energy sort of green energy spikes are all done in like white lines with green colored inside them and they're kind of see-through right so if you're going coloring i would recommend doing it in like doing it that way so like doing it like kind of with a green pencil maybe and put green on the outside or something or whatever you like to color with it's hard to, it would be hard to see it if you did it in black but i can change the color afterwards so i'm going to start adding some of these flames right so just these kind of spikes here and they go over his skin right they're on top 
It's like it's coming off of his skin. See, all this kind of stuff. So just draw it real light, sort of, so you can, you know, erase it or color over it. You know, you don't have to do it exactly like me. I'm kind of just copying the picture a little bit. I'm just kind of adding these spikes. There's like some floating in the air and stuff. So I'm just on his ribs here. <clears throat> and it is see-through green, so it's kind of like a light green. So you will see some of his body lines just underneath these green colors, right? So you don't have to raise what we've drawn. from around the sword as well. Right, so I think that's enough for me. That's how to draw Death Lion Song, one sword style from Zoro. Hope was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.